Hello, my name is Gabriel Guijarro. And I'm his teammate, Isaac Smith, as we work on the Project Combo Hunter Heavy Bag version 2.0. We were uh, assisted by our instructor, uh, Dr. Masood Sajadi, and we were been given the opportunity to work on this by the product owner, Michael H. Bukhar. Um, this is our PowerPoint presentation. Uh, first, we're going to give you guys a quick introduction. Uh, then we're going to go over the deliverables. And then at the end, we're going to show you some screenshots from the actual uh, product. So continuing on, um, this application is made basically to serve a need to bring a more enjoyable experience of something that's usually objective. Working out, it's usually based just on uh, the result that you're trying to get, get either gaining weight, gaining muscle, losing weight, toning, whatever that is. But the vision for this application was to give a competitive and fun, enjoyable way for people to exercise and also be able to focus on a competitive, enjoyable aspect while being able to work out. So in this application, we have a lot of detailed data that could be used to show how one would be able to improve quickly. Also, several different modes. In total, we have about uh, 10 separate modes, which span from solo and multiplayer modes that can be enjoyable for either one user or multiple. And this is just a very specific sort of uh, application which can now be taken to a general home use for a, something such as a family gym where a father wants to be able to work out with his son or some sort of uh, situation in that realm and also having multiple users being able to work out together and in uh in a very natural way where they can see who hits harder who is able to put out more punches in less time and things of that nature and so uh, moving on, we're now going to go to the deliverables as we go over some of the features list. But a quick note, you may notice that we the first three user stories aren't listed here. And that was because those were testing user stories, which only uh, was to enable the application on our local devices to get the application running to see if uh there aren't any problems so that is why we're starting from the user story number four and five okay so for user story number five motor style that's just uh, basically us wanting to uh have we, we we knew since the beginning we we're gonna have multiple modes and we want to basically keep the same design for all of them uh wanted to make it easier for the user to read uh maybe some uh, big fonts uh, nice colors not to cloud uh, for user story number four uh, one of the first modes that we encountered was the quiz start uh, which was uh, basically uh, something really easy for the user to use just click on the bottom and start uh, using uh, playing playing it in the back just with the click on one button For user story number six, uh, that's something very common. We just wanted to give uh, the user a small warning uh, before exiting the program, just in case they exit by mistake. Just want to give it the, that quick warning before exiting. Another mode that we have uh, is, is uh, user story number seven, uh, target to the force. Uh, this is a simple mode. Uh, the target first would decide how much force they wanted to uh, do. And once they have this, they will just uh, click a star and start hitting the back. And the program will record all those readings up, up to they get to that uh, amount of force in total, like just the sum of all the functions. And it will give them the, the time that it took them to reach that goal too. Uh, moving on, we also have a targeted total of time mode which is basically trying to see how much force can be done in a set amount of time, which can, uh, which will basically be set on a time setter basically. And that will count down while you are applying force of the bag, punches, punches, kicks, whatever you're doing. 
And then once that timer runs out, you can see how much force was accrued. Also, we made some uh, design choices and uh, cleaned up the registration a little bit because there was some uh, confusing grammar and some uh, options which weren't seen as necessary as others. So one may not know exactly what their weight class is, but uh, functionality has been integrated to be able to do that um, automatically as well as if we Uh, moving on in the same manner, you have the uh, the profile. Uh, the same reason for the registration, just to make sure that they are uniform. Uh, we have them have now displaying the same information and having the same style that we have applied to the entire application. User story number 11 is the Converse score competition mode. Uh, this is a very simple mode. Uh, we uh, let the user record the force and the time between those two hits uh, up for up to nine uh, hits in the back. And then at the end, it will show you the total force or the total time. Mind you, it doesn't have to be uh, nine. It could be up to nine, be less. And then for the main mode, uh, we had so many mods that we wanted to make a uh, kind of like made a make a main page uh, with uh, like kind of like clear for the user to be able to navigate through the program. Yeah, to see all the modes, basically one centralized area where all the modes would be located, and then they can be easily accessed by the user quickly. Yeah. For uh, user story number thirteen, uh, punch down. Uh, that mode, uh, the user first will choose a uh, threshold force, then the program will keep track of how many uh, punches uh, go below or above or between that threshold. And uh, it all is gonna be between a set time uh, that is gonna be given by the user to probably 30 seconds or minute. And then if the vanish chance the punch the punch is below the threshold force, uh, it's gonna go to the invalid punches, and then if it's above or up around this current percent threshold uh, similarity, it will go into the valid punches. Our punch challenge, our story number 14 was very basic too. Uh, the user will just uh, choose how many punches they would like to, to do, and then the system will record uh, how much force and time it took them to reach this goal. Okay, continuing on, we go to user story 15 and 16. So for the histogram, uh, which was uh, one of the really cool um, ways of this application to be able to give you back information where you can really um, examine how the hits you've done and the time, the milliseconds that it took for you to hit that in between. The histogram was very basic, but it worked in that it was receptive and it gave you that information to a certain accuracy. But we wanted to try to add more information that would be helpful to the user. So adding in the uh, hardest hitting combo that you've done, what was the weakest hit that you've done, the slowest hit, try, just trying to give more information to give more power to the user so they can uh, better yeah better perfect their exercise better perfect their craft and uh, to the database basically we also wanted to try to add some little tweaks to the database it was already uh, done in a specific way so we just wanted to try to add a little bit and take a little out just to make it even more clear so we were able to do that and moving on. Uh, along when we talked about the style, we didn't only just make certain things, different colors, have different shapes and different images. The entire user interface now is uh, centered around the main hub where 
everything will be accessed from there. Mm -hmm. Mostly there were uh, buttons that were at the top in the previous iteration where everything would be accessed from those buttons. But now with the main hub, those items up there can be used for other things. There's still the histogram and the profile page which can be accessed from there. But we just feel that this was a better way to give the information to the user so, so that when, as soon as they log in, they have all the things there at the main hub and it is displayed in a clear, concise way where they know that they can either just go to one mode, which would be the default as we'll show in the screenshots, which is a quick mode where you can go and hit start and just go, or you can customize your experience. Um, another thing is in all of those modes, the events and logic. So that is just attributing to the, the start button, the stop button, the reset button, making sure that all of those work for every single mode that when you start, that the timer starts exactly at that time, that the seconds are counting correctly, that there aren't any um, errors with any of the logic in any of the modes. So. We wanted to make sure that all of that was in place so that the user would be able to have their best experience and make it as user friendly as possible, not to add anything to make it too complex. So having the sensor uh, broken or, I mean, not necessarily broken, but uh, it didn't work for us. So we basically had to find a way to test uh, all of the modes that we developed. So to find a way to make sure that they would work uh, once the sensor was uh, back, back and running. Uh, so one of the things we wanted to add is uh, some uh, sound cues and um, benchmark for the user. Kind of like, uh, for example, once that done with the mode, uh, it will kind of like ring a bell. Or once they uh, punch and it's a valid uh, punch, it will ring the bell just to let them, them know that they were doing a good job. Or uh, putting the putting the the results in green when it was good, or red for bad, or yellow for or medium. Okay, so now we would like to show you guys some screenshots from the our show program. So going on here is just the uh, login and registration. You can see all of the information is there. Uh, looks a slight bit different which just goes into the style that we brought upon. Then, uh, so this is the main hub. You see all of the different modes are there. You have the default mode and the custom mode. Default has the quick start, the custom, just has um, the customized options, whether it be time, a threshold, or whatever it may be for that specific mode. See the targeted total of force, the force goal with the force accrued with the current time and the start, stop and reset buttons. This is just the multiplayer version. Moving on, you have a punch count. You see the threshold of force for this is 200, so the last hit, it was a 300, which is above the threshold force. So that's why it's being shown in green. And it is a counter is being added to the valid punches there. And then this is the, the multiplayer of that same mode. Here you have the the combo score where the hits are recorded in the first uh, row, and then you have the time interval, which is the time in between the hits in the, the time interval a row behind it. And then once all of the hits are done, then a score is uh, a, sc a score is uh, given by a formula that we have in the code, and the time of how long that it took for that this combo uh, that it, it has elapsed. And the multiplayer mode. You have the uh, 
the targeted total of time, uh, which works um, among the same way as the targeted total of force, except the uh, emphasis isn't on reaching the force goal, but how much you can do in a certain amount of time. So we go on to the com competition version, where guest one, they would do the same thing. Guest two would be set to the same amount of time, and they would see who can do the more force in less time. And then you have the punch challenge. So if one wanted to, if one set the uh, goal to 100 punches, then they'll be, have to do, they'll work up to that 100 punches and the total force will additively add the force of each punch together until they reach that punch goal, which is 100 punches. Additionally, you have the multiplayer version of it, which is the same way you'll have the, you'll have the start for, Want the first user who will go and then they'll do the same for the next user and then you can see how much force is uh, done. This is the newer histogram page which has the milestones that have been added showing um, more information to the user just so that they can uh, better be able to look at uh, certain things that they have and hopefully in the future more will be added and more will be customized to certain users experiences and you can see on that day there's uh, a sample of how some of the data would look and you would be able to select the uh, the calendar button at the top right and select a day from there so if you want to look at uh, compare your hits and time from today to yesterday you select the calendar, look at the day before, which would have been April 25th, looking at this example, and you can see your hits on that day. And this is the little confirmation exit window that was added just so that there aren't any mistakes if one accidentally hit the exit window. And that will conclude the introduction video to the combo counter heavy bag. Uh, we hope that this has been insightful and it has given a lot of information. We thank you for listening and we appreciate you being here. Have a great day.